Yeah, the link's not not working. No, it's on. It's on. I saw the YouTube. Oh, you did see it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're tuning in from. I uh, hope you can hear me okay. I am in Dallas, Texas at the ANMP. And so I um, had my presentation this morning, but uh, was just really, really loving um, the content here today at the ANMP. Um, of course, I missed the last couple of Fridays, had some people fill in for me, as well as for the opportunity meeting. I, I went to the event in Barcelona and then uh, passing through Paris, ended up um, getting COVID and stuck there for um, an additional seven days. And so, uh, you know, it really um, excited to be back, back in the United States, back in the trenches, back in the business and, and rock and rolling here. And so, um, you know, we'll get back here on a regular schedule. And so excited about that. Anyway, guys, I'm at this, you know, the ANMP. And so is, is are any of you that are tuned in here today, have, have any of you uh, been watching the presentation here over the last, you know, last started, I think about six o'clock yesterday. I went till nine, it was a three hour event and then it's all day today, all day tomorrow and until noon <clears throat> on Friday. And, uh, you know, if you've attended GoPro, it's it's basically the same presentations. It's just a fraction of the cost, uh, but it's, it's, and then there's, you know, I think when you, if you do attend, you're gonna be provided ongoing content throughout the entire year by the presenters are gonna be sharing additional content. But, you know, I, I you know, have had some aha moments uh, you know, in listening to the presentation, presentation so far, some things that really, really made me think, made me, you know, kind of hit home of some things that I've been neglecting or, or you know, have kind of let fall and things I need to get back, you know, doing uh, to, um, you know, be the, the leader and the person who I want to be and, and, and helping everybody. And so it's been really, really good for me really, really good for me. And so um, just real quick before we jump into, you know, anything here today, um, drop, if any of you actually are, are you know, tuning in to the NMP, um, let me know, let me know, uh, hit, you know, uh, put it in the chat so I can, and I'd love to then hear what you've thought so far of any of the presentations that you've been able to hear. Uh, but it's really, it's very, very, very well done. It was kind of last minute, uh, the way they've thrown this, put it together, but they've they've done an incredible job. So it doesn't look like anybody's putting it in chat, so you might not be attending. And, you know, guys, the ANMP is a is is a nonprofit organization supporting the industry and all the contributors, including Garrett, the president. Uh, you know, he doesn't even get paid for you know all that he does in supporting the ANMP, and so it's a it's really a great organization. And so I encourage you to to get a part of it. You get news, you get content and training, and and uh, you know they do now that COVID's for the most part over. Uh, this was the first time back since 2019, and they'll be doing this annual event every year, uh, which is a lot of fun. I've been to several of them. Um, I know some of you have as well, but uh, it's it's um, really really you know a great. A uh, great presentation, but one of the things that uh, you know came to light for me is, uh, you know, I did not promote or build for this event. It was kind of snuck up on me, and then of course I was stuck in Paris. wasn't actually sure if I was going to make it, so I never really promoted it. And so, I mean, that's one of the things you know that came out of it as I'm sitting there listening to and feeling the energy and feeling really um, uh, the content is very. Um, uh, you know, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Relevant 
to what's going on right now. I mean, hearing statistics on the industry, what's happening in the industry, what recruiting numbers are across the board, what the industry is doing across the board, and what leaders are doing right now that are having success and and what's going on there. And so, um, you know, I had, uh, you know, so one of my aha moments was just, uh, you know, how these events are so incredibly important, whether, uh, you know, it's a company event, which, uh, you know, we've got a company event coming up June 11th, an online virtual event. And then it looks like in October, we're hoping to, uh, you know, have an actual in-person event for Valentis. So that's exciting as well. But uh, the event just being here and being around people again and the energy and, and the content uh, just, you know, once again, just reiterates how incredibly important it is to our overall success, to our mindset, to this industry to have these in-person events. Zooms are great as we're doing here, but but the in-person event is truly, truly um you know, hard to replace. So, uh, you know, there's still plenty of that event left all day, the rest of today, all day tomorrow until noon on Sunday. I think it's like uh, $49 uh, is the cost. Plus, I think that gives you your membership uh, to the ANMP for, for the year. I'm not sure what, what it looks like um, from that standpoint. But one of the things that I did at this particular event, um, and then I chose it for the topic here today as well, is, is belief, right? And how incredibly important and powerful um, belief is in everything in our life. And so the first question is, where do our beliefs come from? You know, where do we get our beliefs? And we get our beliefs, you know, from our parents, right? Our upbringing, um, you know, from school, uh, from the people that we hang around with, from, you know, the news, from, you know, information, right? And we form beliefs about everything and opinions and beliefs and opinions. And, um, uh, you know, I think that uh, there's a set of tapes that I've been listening to that's really powerful. It's by a guy by the name of Lou Tice, and it's called Mastering the Attitude of Achievement. And, and basically he talks about, you know, beliefs and he talks about, um, you know, people react not according to the truth as it really is, but according to the truth as, you know, they believe it or perceive it to be, that there can be conflicting beliefs. And of course, information can change our beliefs. And I, I talked about this today at the in the presentation at the NMP. And I talk about, you know, I didn't understand network marketing. I didn't have, you know, m- any real solid beliefs one way or the other. I had perceptions, you know, from what I heard, I, you know, again, my perception of networking is I thought it was one of those, you know, business where you make money and lose your friend. That was kind of my perception. And, you know, based off of just hearsay, right, of what I heard about from other people. And of course, being involved in it, you know, as Eric Worre talks about, you know, I believe now to my inner being, it's a better way. I mean, it simply is a better way. And, uh, you know, what made me believe that is my personal experience, you know, uh, the personal development, um, you know, attending events, witnessing and seeing other people's lives changed. And so I believe for the everyday person, you know, they can, in fact, do this. They can do this. They can be successful. Uh, and, and I believe that um, it's not just a better way. It is, um, I mean, I think of my life today and I think about the, you know, the freedoms that I have and um, the, you know, security within the income based off of the organization and stuff. It's, it's phenomenal. And I think about people that have businesses and all the things that can derail those businesses and increase, you know, costs and employees and the headaches and, you know, what they actually can make at the end of the day. And I think about, you know, people that have to get up and go to work every day and go to jobs and, you know, you know, how they can get stuck in that type of thing. And I just think about if you really get this business working and stay focused and consistent, it can provide you a life uh, income, a lifestyle that little or few things can compare with. Okay, I absolutely believe that. Whatever the cost is, it's worth it. Um, it provides an unbelievable life. But, you know, coming back, you know, to these beliefs. And again, one of the reasons my belief is so strong that you can do this is because of my own experience and, and upbringing. I mean, you know, I, you know, with my, you know, you might say, well, I can't talk to people or I don't know people, you know, I don't have self-esteem. I don't have confidence. I can't sell whatever it is. That was me. That was me. And, and, you know, uh, but the industry, the environment being around positive, like-minded people just, 
you know, it changes your belief and it changes. One of the beliefs that it changes is the belief in what you can do, the belief in yourself, right? And so belief is incredibly powerful. Belief in uh, yourself. And, and I think the way that you, you can change your belief is change where you're getting the information. Again, um, you know, uh, we, you, you know, we can listen to the news, we can listen to naysayers, we can listen to, uh, you know, people that are, you know, stuck in life. And I mean, you want to be listening to people that, that have what you want, right. That are living the life that you want, listen, you know, doing what you want versus we tend to, uh, listen to, um, get information from the wrong people. And, and much of that information is negative. And it, that negative information affects our belief in the world and what's possible and what we can do and what's happening. And, and so uh, it's all feeding our, our mindset and feeding our beliefs and feeding. So beliefs are incredibly powerful. And so uh, I believe to be successful, and again, I talked about it today in my presentation that, you know, people say, you know, John, what's the most important thing? And, and the first thing I come to every time is belief, right? Uh, it's belief. It's belief that you can do this. It's belief in the industry. It's belief in the company. It's belief in the products. And if that belief is not where it needs to be, it, you're not going to be where you need to be. Your head's not going to be where it needs to be. Your business is not going to be where it needs to be. And so, you know, Every any any everything you do, you need to be asking yourself: Is this building you up or tearing you down? Is it building your belief or 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 tearing your belief down? You get around, uh, you know, naysayers or get around, you know, people that are negative, and and you're going to find your own life to be negative, right? And so the people we hang around with, the people we listen to, um, the, you know, all of that stuff, uh, you know, affects our belief, and that's why again these events are so incredibly important. I look at. Um, myself just having attended this and and how it's you know it's really inspired me and motivated me and and if you know any stinking thinking that I was having because it's you can have that right you know you can get in a rut right what's that old saying about a rut a rut is you know a grave with the ends kicked out right and we can all find ourselves there sometimes and uh, but it's no it's not a fun place to be and, you know, sometimes when, when we need the biggest dose of belief, when we need the biggest dose of personal development, it's sometimes when we resist it the most. And um, so anyway, belief is, is really, really super powerful. So with that being said, um, you know, guys, well, let's, let's talk about, um, you know, belief. And, uh, you know, if, if any of you have challenges in your area in belief in anything, you know, um, that you think that somebody else might be able to relate with and, and, and understand that you might be able to empower by sharing that story or that feeling or that, that thought process of, of where you might be are, or the opposite, if your belief is where it needs to be and the impact, because belief is influence. And I talk about this all the time that, you know, every time you talk to somebody, you know, whether it's about this business, whether you're trying to talk to your kids about something, whether you're talking to your spouse about something, it, you're, you're everything we do, Everything we do is trying to influence someone else to see something our way or to do something else. And whoever has the strongest conviction, the strongest belief about what it is that they're talking about is going to have influence over the other person. If, if when you're talking to somebody about something you believe in or you think you believe in, right, and that person prevent, presents you with some different information and it makes you hesitate. It makes you stop and it, 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 you start buying into whatever it is that they're talking about. You're sunk. You're absolutely sunk, right? It's when you know, and you know, you know, and you're not going to buy anybody else's story. That's where your belief, that's when your belief is where it needs to be to, to influence and to attract other people. Right. And if it's not there, then you need to be asking yourself, what do I need to do? Who's who's negatively affecting my belief? What do I need to do to positively affect my belief? Because without the belief, you're not going to be, um, you know, effective. You're not going to have an impact. You're not going to influence other people. So this belief is incredibly, incredibly important. And, and maybe you haven't thought about this. Maybe you haven't even thought about it in this in this way, but it but it's really true. Again, the person who has the greatest level of belief is going to have influence over the other person. And if you show weakness, if you show hesitation, if you show uncertainty, um, people can sense it, people can feel it, 
Um, and and people, it, it 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 makes a difference in the way they're going to perceive you and perceive everything else. And and I I'm talking from experience here because I've struggled in this area over the years myself in different things. And and I can and it 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 it, it, it reflects immediately into uh, you know everything your everyday life. So um, beliefs are so so important. So with that, um, I'll see if anybody wants to jump in here and share you know, any, any additional thoughts on this subject, on this, on this, uh, um, you know, feeling, uh, cause that's what belief is, is it's a feeling again. And when we have, you know, in this set of tapes that I was listening to, uh, you know, um, Lou Tice, he's a football coach called master in the attitude of achievement. He tells a story about a guy by the name of Cliff Young and Cliff Young, um, was from Australia and he worked on a, uh, um, they called it a station, but what it was is a ranch. And he had uh, cows and, and pigs and sheep. And he didn't have, you know, the dogs and, and the horses. And, and so, the, you know, he entered this foot race, which was from Sydney to Melbourne, about 600 kilometers. And um, he ended up winning the race. And that's not why he was telling you the story. The reason he's telling the story is he won the race by a day and a half. He cut a day and a half off the race. And you know, he showed up at this race with uh, bib overhauls and and galoshes, uh, you know, like boots that, and he had a very interesting style of running. He shuffled his feet, didn't really pick his legs up and run and found out later that was very efficient. But, but what Cliff didn't know is Cliff wasn't tied into all of the information that all the other runners were, you know, the running magazines and, and, you know, the magazines and, and what was believed is that you run for 18 hours and sleep for six and cliff didn't know this and so cliff just ran straight through the night and he didn't he was so far ahead of everybody else he didn't even know that everybody was sleeping and didn't know that people weren't right behind him and so he ended up winning the race by a, a day and a half and and everybody was saying he's going to collapse he's never going to make it and he ended up winning the race but what's interesting about that is because that information happened and he didn't, I mean, if he'd have been reading, reading the magazines that you had to sleep six, run 18, sleep six, he would have done the same, right? But he didn't have that information. He just entered the race and just started running and never stopped till he won, until you finished. And, but what's interesting, the next year, his record was beat. And the year after that, that person's record was beat because the beliefs change, information changed people's beliefs. And so I found, I found that to be a very um, interesting story. You know, um, Roger Bannister, another, you know, story when, it, what, what was it? The, the, um, was it the three minute mile or two minute mile or what was it? Four minute mile, four minute mile. <laughs> Nobody thought your heart would, you know, come out of your chest if you did it. And when he did it, then everybody changed their beliefs. And then all of a sudden the four minute mile became the norm, not, not the uh, exception and not believed to be unbelievable because somebody did it. And I was think, wow, somebody did it. I can do it too. And so that's what happens, you know, in beliefs. So beliefs are very, very interesting. And, and uh, if you have conflicting beliefs, what can happen if you really believe in something, but yet in, people are giving you information that contradicts that belief, he, you know, he talks about, you can have what they call, what he called a scotoma, which is a blind spot. Basically it, it, you can block out information that conflicts with what your beliefs are to give you peace of mind. Cause otherwise you can't hold two conflicting beliefs. Uh, it creates conflict within yourself. So, um, you know, so you have to block out things that are, and he, in this particular, you know, story, he used the example of a, of a, a baby crying. You know, if you, let's say uh, you're a couple and you have a brand new baby and, and, and um, uh, let's say in this particular case, the dad is going to be in tune to the baby crying at night. And so that means the mother can, can, can basically block if, in, if, if, he, if the mother knows that the dad is going to attend to the baby's crying, she can, she won't hear it. She'll block it out. But the exact opposite is true. If the husband's not hearing it, then the mother is in tune to that baby crying. Right. And so we can block things out. Uh, and, and, um, and I'm not sure if that made sense to you or not, but it, it you know, it, it really is true. You can, you can block things out. So, and they call it a scotoma. It's a, a blind spot to something. So anyway, I'm kind of rambling here. Let's go ahead and see if somebody wants to jump in and give me an, give me an example, um, share an experience, uh, sharing, even if they want to share an area of, of struggle, 
you know, with their own personal beliefs or an area where belief, you know, is um, so powerful where it has made someone else that is a disbeliever because your belief was so strong, so, so passionate, so deep that, you know, somebody that maybe didn't believe the same way, but you changed their belief because your beliefs were so strong. Anybody want to jump in here? Hi, John. Yes. Hi, I want to share something about um, the lack of belief. Um, really, really interesting topic today. Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. I'm at the parking lot um, inside my car in the parking lot. Um, I, I believe um, the lack of... Hope you froze up on us, Rapshaw. Oh, did we lose you? Oh, it looks like she dropped off. Somebody else want to jump in while she comes back on? We lost her. Hey, John. Um, yes. I think the thing is with, uh, with beliefs, it, like you mentioned, it's all what's in our minds, our thoughts. And the biggest problem is, is when you get conflicting thoughts in your mind, You've got to make sure you speak the positive because once you speak the positive, your mind then will hear what you're speaking and it'll drive that negative either out or down. You've got to, you, and that, that becomes so important. We're all going to have the situation where we have a negative influence or a negative thought coming in. That's, that's just the way life is. But it's, if we, as soon as we speak or verbalize that negativity, that's when it becomes that, that limiting belief versus speaking the positive and only speaking what you want in order to get to the, the outcome you want, keeping your, like, like Faye says, keeping your, your um, thermostat versus thermometer. If your thermostat's here and you're always going to speak in that positive, then, then you're good. Your thermo if, if it's, sorry, your thermometer's here. If your thermostat's up and, down, up and down, up and down, up and down, then you're always going to be that way. And so you've always got to focus just on the thoughts that'll get you closer to that belief. And we all have the negative, um, uh, negative influence, especially in this day of social media, when like 80, like there's a stop, like an hour and a half a day minimum that people spend on social media. Well, of that, probably 60 minutes is negative crap and 20 minutes is watching dogs dance or something, right? So you've, you've got to control the positive input and then your positive response to that is really key. And you talk so much about that. And I just thought I'd bring that up again. Yeah, well, thank you, Blair, because that is so incredibly powerful. Um, the, the, and again, that's all this information that we're that's around us, whether it's on social media, whether it's somebody that's in our ear, maybe it's a coworker, maybe it's a family member. Um, and, and they're, I mean, uh, you know, the news, right? Um, and you can get yourself completely run down by buying into this other information. And, 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 and you pay attention to it and you start internalizing it and thinking about it and it can literally almost make you sick, right? I mean, versus, you know, if you have that rock solid belief, you can still, that information, you can't give it any time. You can't give it any credence. You have to, you have to block it out. And, uh, and, and, you know, I remember Zig Ziglar said something one time when he was talking about, you know, being around a negative person. And he says, you know, one of two things are going to happen. Either my positiveness is going to rub off on you or your negativeness is going to rub off on me. And I just can't take that chance. <laughs> right. So I, I don't want to be around you. And, but we, we do, we, I think every one of us have people in our life that are just the Debbie Downers. They're the, they're dragging us down. You know, I, I joke about it. I say there's two types of people in this world, right? You know, there's that one type that brighten a room when they come in and the other type that brighten a room when they leave, <laughs> you know, which one are you, or do you have those people in your life that are just, you know, dragging you down? And I'm, I'm telling you guys this because I've, I've done that. I've, 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 you know, had that stinking thinking, you know, multiple times over my career and in my life. And, and it's a, not a fun place to be. And all you want that same misery loves company. You want somebody to buy into your misery, right? Cause it makes yours even better. And it's when you're in that mode that you resist, you know, con positive stuff even more so, but it's no fun to be there. But if you're conscious and can kind of know what's going on, uh, then you can, you can consciously change that, right. And force it force the, the, you know, force the block of the negative and, 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 and open the, the floodgates to get around anything possible to change that mindset. The, 
you know, the listening, you know, shutting the news off, listening to, um, you know, audios and reading books, whatever, whatever it might be. Does somebody want to jump in there? Yeah, just dumb down. I get other ones for you. Yeah, go ahead, pal. Oh, accidentally, uh, John, I accidentally, <laughs> I, I was working. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, Rob Shell, I see you're back. Do you want to finish your, your comment? We lost you very early on on whatever you were saying. Yeah, oh, um, thank you. So I, I think um, the lack of belief causes, is caused by lack of information or lack of education. So once we, we all came from somewhere that we, um, especially network marketing, we, we don't, um, sometimes we are thrown, like the ball is thrown to us and we don't, we don't have the necessary information. Sometimes we are forced by our friends and family to do this type of business. And when we don't have all the information we need, I mean, if you think of it generally in life, we make decisions based on the information that we have. You know, we do a lot of research, anything in life. We do a lot of research, even deciding what major to go to college. I mean, children and parents, everyone else, we have to go through extensive research to find out if this is a perfect fit for that person. And then here comes network marketing, anyone with no experience, nothing, right? It's thrown into the bus. Oh, it's easy. Anyone can do this. But my point is, yes, we all came in here with no experience, with no background, but it is important. Once you, um, once you get yourself into it, you hear, um, you, you make the decision that this is what I want. This is, this is the only way. This is the best possible way to make all my dreams, to realize all my dreams. It is critical for, for an individual to, to make an effort like, what do I need to do to, to, to develop my skills? What do I need to do to get some information? Just like attending events, uh, professional events, the a and &P, no, events uh you know created by the company right um teams because that is important to to gain knowledge and information to strengthen the belief that we slowly form into this industry and i think that is very critical for for each one of us uh we hear different uh, the stigma and negativity about the industry but as you said um we hear it from different sources, people that doesn't have the information. If we are not strong enough emotionally, mentally, even psychologically, we get affected. We get swayed away. We will buy into that belief that this is not, this is not, this will not work. This is, you know, this is not um, a real business. So again, um, everyone who's in here, if you have a chance um, get into every training possible that you can join, especially if it's free, you know, um, because that's how we build our belief. Um, just remember, whatever job we get in, we start from somewhere, but we always have that continuing education. If we wanted to move up to the rank, we always, we always um, need that continuous training. So think about that into the business. Apply that into this type of business that we have. And I guarantee you, you will become the best network marketer or, um, yeah, entrepreneur you can, you can ever imagine. <laughs> Back to you, John. Okay. Well, yeah, and you, you talk about doing research, right? Um, you know, and, and that's great. And if someone is the personality that will, uh, you know, take things serious and do proper research and look at and really dig in. But the problem I think that most people is their research is listening to um, their negative friend. <laughs> That's what the extent of their research, they're listening to the wrong people and uh, versus really digging down to find out what's, 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 what's real, right? You know, and so, um, but it is comes down to what are you listening to? Are you really being, you know, doing research? Or are you just listening to uh, people with an agenda or people that are just, you know, I mean, uh, don't don't listen to uh, the wrong people because if I mean if they don't have, I mean if they don't if they're not living a life you want, then why are you listening to them, right? And, and that's a mistake most people are making in life. They're listening and talking to the wrong people, people that, you know, 
are are not living the life they want to live. So anyway, be you know, what is your resource? What's your what is the what is your resources that you're you're tapping into? Larry, did you want to say something? Are you? Um, I saw you lifting your hand. Yeah. Up. Yes, I did. I think um, Rep. Shell hit up on one word that was very, very important, and that was uh, the phrase when she said, uh, "Make a decision." Make a decision, similar to what you have said on a number of cases that uh, we have to make a choice. And once we've made that decision and that choice, now we need to go ahead and follow through. And of course, with all of the learning, the exposure, and uh, putting ourselves in the right place talking to the right people, surrounding ourselves with people that are actually going to do and help us with our choice and with the decision that we've made is going to make all the difference in the world. So you have to go and continue to follow through. But a very important part of our belief in everything else is having to make that decision. Okay. Yep. hundred percent. Thank you for that. Anybody else want to jump in here? Um, yeah, John, this is Juliana. I'm the one without a picture. And this is something I am going to have fixed my you have my word by day's end. But uh, one of the things and I think um, Rapshell said this as well about like being plugged in or trainings. When I made a jump, it, you know, it was a leap of faith. But in my heart, from having bad experiences in the past, my belief system was not there. And when I would talk to people, like you said, I could hear it in my own voice. I was just wavering and I wasn't even sure myself what I was trying to convince other people of. So even though I loved the products, I just had a belief system that something bad was going to happen again. But I still plugged in every single training and everything there was and reached out to leaders. And then when I realized there was something different that I was a part of now, I, my belief system completely changed. And I just had like this excitement in my voice and everything. I mean, I'm just, everything changed. And now I have other people coming to me saying, Hey, I want to have what you have. So it's just amazing how it just turned the tables completely, you know, when my belief system was there, but I had to plug in, I had to be positive. I had to do personal development. I had to take advice from people. I had to reach out. I had to let the walls down and it's just amazing the difference it made. Yeah. Wow. That's really powerful because we, you know, it's like you're going through the motions and you're, you're talking about it, but your belief is not where it needs to be. You want to believe you, you can see what's possible and maybe part of that belief is, can it really work for you or, or whatever? And it's when you've made that, that you stay, you could see that it, there's other people doing it. So you have these conflicting beliefs because you got the other side of this, what if, and can I really do this? And, and I'm not sure. And what about this? And what about that? So that's kind of all rolling around in the back of your head, affecting, um, impacting the way you're being perceived because it, they can feel it, right? You can feel it. They can feel it. And when you, when you, but yet you're, you're, it's like, you know, it's not like you don't believe it's just that you didn't have that unshakable belief, right? You believe, but yet you have on the other side of that, conf that conflict, that, conf that, that's that, that, you know, conflicting information that's making you, you know, whether it's bad, ex a previous experience, whether it's, you know, self doubt or, or, you know, can I really do this? I know it's working for others, but can I really do this? Blah, blah, blah. And, and it's when you, you, you can feel the difference and I can see it feel it in your voice. So, you know, when you have, when you make that transition, when you, and again, it doesn't just happen. You have to, you have to, like you said, stay plugged in. You have to be tapped in. You have to be, you know, pouring in as much information to support what you really, really want. Right. And, and eliminate as much information that's conflicting with that and block it out because with, otherwise it's going to continue to eat away at you and it, and you're going to live in conflict right? You're going to live in conflict and that's not a place where you're going to be effective. So a hundred percent. hundred percent. Yes. Yeah. I was in constant, con I was in conflict. I loved the product. So I was, you know, referring that and, you know, everybody loved them, but my belief in, oh no, is this going to be another one of those, you know? And then, like I said, the whole belief changed and it's just, it's that unshake, like you said, that unshakable belief now. So yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. 
Yeah. And that's where you guys, that's where you got to be that unshakable belief. And if you're not there, you know, that's what, you know, hopefully we can, we have some impact on that on these fireside chats, the event I'm at this event this weekend, this, you know, all of this, you know, pouring in, you have, you want to believe, you want to believe, but yet you have the conflict, you have the self-doubt, you have some insecurities, you have something that's, that's conflicting with that and affecting it. So you have to overwhelm the what what ultimately you want to believe you got to overwhelm it with inf- supporting information uh, and block out the anything that's conflicting that the, the conflicting information. John, can I add something? Yes. Um, it's so amazing how to be around with people that has the same belief, right? Um, when you were in Barcelona, the event with um, the team there. You can feel, I mean, to be in the same place with people that has the energy and it's fair to say that has the belief with the products and the company, it will, if if you are even struggling, you know, even if it doesn't matter if you are new or uh, how long you've been in the company, at some given point in time, you know, your belief goes down or you just need something to to get your energy back, to get your belief back, and to be around with people that has that high belief and high energy, I think is very important. You know, when I was in that group of almost 200 people in their room in a sweating in a very, um, how would I say that, very um, hot temperature, but they were there from, from what, 9 a.m. until 7 p.m. So you can just if you examine the collect, oh my goodness, they really mean business. They are so hungry. They, they, they love to be here. Otherwise, I don't think they will last that long, you know, uh, but it's important for us to sometimes we have to either drag our, our business partners to be in, in meetings just to, just to bring them back because sometimes um, everyone gets distracted. Everyone lost their focus, right? So, if um, it's 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 important also to be a leader to constantly get get our team, um, bring them back. You know, um, if not, um, for, for put some effort in bringing them back. Give um, make them feel that let them experience the energy again. So that's all I want to say. Yeah. And, you know, just as you're talking like that, I'm thinking about um, because we all struggle in this area, right? I don't care who you are, you're going to have, and I don't care if it's with network marketing or any, anything in our life, right? The, you know, we can have this self-doubt, we can have, you know, our belief, you know, be impacted or, or affected. So we have to get around. And, and, and one of the things you can do is when you think about, because we get disappointed, you know, something happens with the company, something happens with the product, we lose a team member, you know, somebody that we really, you know, believe in leaves or something like that, which it affects our belief, right? But, but when you think about um, the alternative, I mean, that's one of the things, I mean, I think about the alternative. I mean, as, as, as frustrating as things can be that happen, things are happening in every business. Things are happening all over our life that if we buy into it, it's going to send us into the ditch, right? And, but what, in the big scheme of things, in the big scheme of things, when you really be objective of what's going on, when you look at, you know, Valentis, when you look at network marketing, when you look at with the life that can be had and the freedoms that can be have here. I mean, you, you know, I mean, like you, you talk about this rapture all the time. I'm no, I mean, if you're going to be successful in anything, it's going to require work, right? It's just, <laughs> you know, choose your heart, right? You say, choose your heart. I mean, you know, getting up at five in the morning to go to a job, make, you know, make little over minimum wage. And um, I mean, that's hard. Right. And 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 it's tough to get out of that 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 cycle. I mean, getting disappointed by some people saying no to you or or quitting or having a hiccup here or there. I mean, in the big picture of things, guys, there's nothing better. I mean, in the big picture of things in life and where you want to have the freedoms and, and everything else. I mean, what we have here, there's nothing better. Right. I mean, I'll, you know, maybe winning the lottery. Right. But that isn't going to happen. Don't hold your breath for that one. Right. I mean, you can you can get excited, get excited and you're going to get other people excited, you know, and what that's going to do is it's going to kill that nightshade, that deadly poison that creeps into all of us to try to nudge us off course or to track us off course or kill our dream or our belief. 
And, and so, but you have to be conscious of it. And some of us, you know, you can, we can all find ourselves in that spot once in a while and, and it's no fun. It's no fun to be there in that self-doubt. So, so, you know, force it, force the, 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 the opposite information that supports what you ultimately want and don't buy into the, uh, you know, that, that, that little negative self-talk that's killing you. Right. You know, that self-doubt and that self-talk. So anyway, anybody else want to jump in here before we say goodbye for the day? Okay. Well, listen, I think we ended up with a really good, Oh, somebody want to jump in? It's me now. I'm ready. Okay. For real this time, right? <laughs> okay. You know, being consistency is uh, the key too. you know, coming to the your Zoom meeting and all that, that, that creates uh, the leadership, like people buy in because of uh, your consistency and uh, the belief itself, not just only product and personal development. Everyone need a, have a, a, a practice on that because you can say all the, the things you do, but when you don't put action, nothing is going to happen because all this concept is all good, you know, sound good, but you, you lack of belief in the product and uh, the, the culture of the Valentus, you, you're out because there's so many things out there that flash you. And uh, you think that you uh, if you're not coming to the Zoom or the, the meeting, you're going to die out slowly, slowly. That's why consistency is the key that's just build your confidence as well thank you so much john <laughs> so you, know, you uh, don't tell you know what you're you know one of the things i just want to reiterate on that because um you, you you brought up the word covid and and i mean listen if you watch the news right now i mean you you look at the political environment you look at just some of you know, what's going on around in the world i mean it's pretty easy if you want to allow yourself to buy into all that stuff, I mean, to think, holy crap, the world's going to hell. Um, but I mean, that's where, I mean, you can't change any of that. All you can change is Jim Rowan says, it's not what happens. It's that matters. It's what you do about what happens. And so, I mean, I mean we can, you, but you can, you can, and it can affect every part of your, what's going on around the world, what's going on here, well, you know, what just happened in Texas, you know, a week or so ago. I mean, all of these things, if you allow it to, to, to affect your belief, your faith, your, your, what, what you think the ultimate world really is about, um, it can, it can, it can filter into every part of your business and drive you into the ditch. It can drive you into the ditch. What we have here, um, we can impact people's lives in a positive way. We can pull them out of the gutter. We can pull them out of the stinking thinking, you know, by being around like-minded, positive people. And, but, but you have to get yourself there first. Right. And, and again, I'm not saying it's easy because all of the outside circumstances and things going around us, but we have to filter it. We have to filter it. And, and like I, like Cliff Young or like that guy, um, Lou Tice, he, you know, create that scotoma block out all that information makes you feel bad and block out that information that, that makes you, you know, get disgusted with the world and some of the stuff that's going on. And, and just, you can be in control of, of, of your, of what you let in, be in control of, of your own thoughts and your destiny and know that what we have is a better way. It simply is a better way. So with that, everybody, hope you had a great day. Um, hope you got something out of this. I'm going to get back there uh, 15 minutes to kick back. Uh, um, our lunch break is over and uh, we'll talk.